today I'm going to show you how to fix something that's made out of resin. I have this lamp, it's a set of two that someone gave me. It is made out of resin. You can see that the person tried to fix it with hot glue. Hot glue is not the best solution to fixing something with resin because they tend to fall apart. So I'm going to show you a better way to fix this. All of this is made out of resin. I fixed other resin things, vases, mirror frames. Um, it's not really the best material to even have an object because if it does get bumped, not chipped, fall down, it can break. So it's not really the best material. But if you like the style, and, and they're kind of cool, it's sort of Victorian, it'll match my bedroom. Um, so I took them, I said, yeah, I think I could fix it. I'm gonna show you how. First thing we need to do, just take the lampshade off, we unscrew this top, and take the shade off, and we take the bulb out. I even got bulbs to go with it, cool. And you squeeze this, these little things come up, squeeze this, and that comes right off. Now this thing is, it's loose. First thing we need to do is remove all of the hot glue that was used to repair it. Oops, sorry for that loud noise. You want to be careful not to mess up the resin. Do not cut into it. It's actually a pretty soft material. Glue might work in a pinch, but uh, it really is the best material to repair things such as resin. My fix is going to be perfect, per, uh, permanent. I don't know about perfect, but it'll be permanent. Okay, I think we got all of the. Is that glue right there? I guess that's part of this. Okay, make sure that sits down in there. Thing is, I can't, it doesn't even screw. It just spins round and round. I need that wire to go down further. Let's see if I can pull the wire from the bottom. Okay, I can pull the wire from the bottom. And I think I want that just like that. All right, now I could sit there, but but it's not going to stay, so I'm going to fix it so it's permanent. What are we going to use to fix it? Two ingredients. Tacky glue and a slice of bread. Um, I'm First of all, I'm going to take all the crust off of this bread. I'm going to just tear it up in little pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dough with the glue and the bread and I'll be able to mold it to the shape that I want and I think I'll do the whole slice so I can do both lamps then we add some tacky glue I'm not exactly sure how much but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work this together yeah, I'm going to get my hands in and it's going to get all messy and sticky and, and gross. What I want to do is create a dough. Sort of net it to get it thoroughly mixed washed and dried my hands. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on my hands so that I can better handle this. I want to try to get it to be smooth. Now I could have done this on wax paper. I'm going to have a mess on my table, but I'll be able to clean it up. <clears throat> 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this around here and I feel like it's a little too fat so I'm going to take some of it off. When this dries, it will dry hard. I've just kind of covered the whole base here. When the lampshade is on, you won't even be able to see that part. I decided to go all the way up to the top. Just want to smooth it out best you can all the way around with hands that have a little bit of oil on them. And when you have it so that you like it, we just need to let it dry. Okay, they are covered from the base to the um, part that holds, that holds this part. So we just need to let them sit until they are hardened and then we will come back and paint them together. Now this whole thing is very rustic. It's, it's not even a nice paint job. It's, it's supposed to look sort of rustic and antique-ish, so it's, it'll be fine. All right, right, right now what I'm doing is I'm covering the lamp with plastic bags. I'm sure we all have millions of those plastic bags. I find a million uses for them. And I could throw them away when I'm done here, so I just want to take short pieces of tape as we go around the circle here pulling the plastic bag down so that the only part that I'm going to paint, spray paint, will be that part that I repaired. It's nice and sturdy. See? It doesn't wiggle at all. It's attached to the lamp very well. And I don't want to get any I don't want to get any paint here either. So I'm going to cover this and I'm just going to try to wrap this around in a way just to kind of tie a knot. I know it's more than I need for what I'm doing. And then I'm going to tape it so that it's this, this plastic bag stays up and out of, out of my way. but this is just masking off the part that I don't want to paint. I'm going to take it outside to paint it because I am using spray paint and it is a little bit breezy today so I need to check the direction of the wind because I don't want the spray to come back at me and paint me in the face. Okay. I have it covered. Now I am ready to paint and I'm going to use a gold spray paint. For my painting base, I have a small cooler that I covered it with plastic bags so I don't have to worry about getting paint all over it because I didn't have a table to use and I couldn't see a piece of wood that I didn't want to accidentally get paint on. This is, yeah, this will work. So I've got them sitting outside and I just need to test the direction of the wind and I will spray paint those bases. They're painted. Now I'll just give it some time to dry before I peel all that off. And then, okay, it's all dry. So we can put it all back together again. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Get one side in. Okay, there, yeah, I got it. All right, with the light bulb. And now both lamps are repaired and they stand up straight. I'm just going to unwrap the cord here because I wrapped it around when I was painting it. 
just to get this cold out of the way. And now we have the lamps are repaired. So that was a pretty easy fix. The lamps go very nicely with my bedroom. So I got a brand new pair of lamps and it just took me a little time to fix them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more great ideas on how to fix things, how to do things. You never can tell what my next video will be about. Have a good day.